As buildings grow taller, elevators travel faster and higher. Anyone who has ever used a high-rise elevator has probably asked themselves at one point, could this elevator fall? Thanks to the many electrical and mechanical safety devices in modern elevators and the rigorous testing at our high-rise laboratories, the answer is certainly not. One fundamental safety device in all elevators is the emergency brake system, known as the safety gear. At our high-rise laboratory in Tuturi, Finland, we can test the system in ways that no one else can, pushing it to extremes. An elevator car is connected to a device called an overspeed governor with a looping steel rope. If the speed of the elevator exceeds a preset value, typically 20% more than the elevator's normal speed, the overspeed governor activates the emergency braking system. The other end of the rope is connected to the safety gear device in the car's frame. The overspeed governor rope pulls the safety gear wedges up. As the wedges make contact with the guide rails, they safely slow the car to a complete stop. Gone's high-speed safety gear has a built-in mechanical servo functionality that automatically adjusts the braking force, making sure the elevator slows down safely within elevator safety codes, preventing a sudden stop. These safety gear devices can be located at the bottom, top, or at all four corners of the car frame depending on the elevator's load and speed. Even though the safety devices are rarely needed, they are there for a reason, to protect the passengers and provide peace of mind.